When I saw this poor thing on the side of the road, I knew I had to take it home and restore it. This old lady looked very beat up and tired, but I could see a lot of potential in her. I think it sat outside for a few days during the recent heat wave because the pain started to blister. Hello beautiful people, welcome to another video. I absolutely love saving pieces like this from the landfill and when I look at the end results, it just makes me happy. As you can probably see, there are multiple layers of paint. The wood is in a pretty rough condition and there was a lot of woodworm damage. Because of all that paint, I decided to use a chemical stripper. And this particular one is deactivated with water and dish soap. After about 40 minutes, I took the plastic covers off and I scraped the paint and the stripper off. This was a very messy job and it took quite a long time, but I felt that using a chemical stripper for this particular project was the way to go. It almost felt like I was giving this old lady a chemical face peel. As you can see, this was pretty gross and I used several coats of stripper until most of the paint was gone. This is slightly disgusting, but I think you guys like this, so you're welcome. Because this dresser was so beat up, a lot of the paint was actually deep in the grain. So after stripping it, I used my scraper to remove a bit more. As it's often the case with these dressers, this one was made with a mix of plywood and solid wood. The top was plywood and it was quite unusual. It was in such a rough shape that I was actually thinking at one point to completely replace it, but I decided to try and restore it. And the first step was to use my iron and some steam to raise the grain because of all the dings and gouges in the plywood. In case you don't know that, wood expands when you apply moisture to it, so when there is a ding in the wood, you can make it wet, it will expand and then you'll be able to sand it flat. At this point I just wanted to see how much of the original look of the wood I would be able to bring back so I didn't really have a plan as far as what to do with it. The next thing I did was to apply oxalic acid and try to remove some remaining discoloration in the wood and basically even out the tone. At 
as you will see in a minute, the fronts of the drawers were in such a rough state that I decided to use my planer to take off a thin layer of wood. Remember the paint embedded in the grain that I mentioned before? There was a lot of it. And this wouldn't be a problem if I was going to paint the dresser, but I wasn't going to. So I used my dental kit to remove the paint as much as I could. And then when the oxalic acid was dry, I applied another coat. As always, there was a lot of sanding. I also removed the back of this dresser because it was completely rotten and not very sturdy. And I wanted this old lady to stand tall and proud, so I replaced the back. Many people would look at this project and think, well, it would be so much easier to just paint it. And you're probably right. But the satisfaction that I get from seeing an old beat up piece coming back to life is just priceless. I also wanted to say huge thank you to all of you guys who support me via buy me a coffee, my Amazon links or super chats or super thanks. This helps me a lot as this is pretty much a full time job given the fact that each project takes about a week from start to finish. So I really appreciate it and please do check out all the links in the description. But the easiest way to support me is to simply click the like button, comment and subscribe, as this way YouTube thinks that you enjoy this content, so it will recommend it to other people so they can see it as well.
I'm just going to freshen up the drawers inside and out and I'll be using these products. I'm probably gonna use this one on the inside of the drawers and any of these three products on the outside just to freshen it up. I normally use my favorite wax but uh, I do have these oils and they work quite well as well so I might use them because the drawers still look a bit tired despite sanding I think this will be the best option This is the lock that was in the top drawer. To restore the lock I used rust remover and some water. I soaked it and then I cleaned it up with my multi-tool from Hoto and a wire brush. I actually have a discount code for Hoto tools if you would like to buy some and it's in the description below. I removed the paint and then I used Barkeeper's Friend to clean it up and because there was only the front part of it that was made of brass I spray painted the rest of it to match the color And finally, I use my furniture hardwood jig to attach the handles. I was going to use these legs for this dresser, but then I decided to give this lady a bit more contemporary and industrial look, so I got this really cool casters. However, they didn't quite match the overall look, so I used gilding wax and I dry brushed them. And surprisingly, they looked like brass. I didn't actually want a full coverage, I wanted a little bit of that rust to peek through the gilding wax, so I was quite happy with that. I installed the lock. And now this one's beat up and ready for the landfill old lady is looking sexy and fresh and is ready for a night out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. See you in the next video.